Abhijit from Creative Research YouTube channel. Today we are going to plot temperature and humidity of a room online using Th Thingspeak channel. So here we are going to use Thingspeak website where in which we are going to use how uh, to plot temperature and humidity online. So let's see uh, what is a Thingspeak. Uh, this is a platform that gives you to uh, connect with the internet and make a IoT device, um, IoT platform so that you can plot the variables of a environment online. Here I am going to use Node MCU um, board where the, this is a uh, board contains Wi-Fi module that is connected with the internet by giving by programming it your room or your uh, local Wi-Fi address. And I am going to connect a VHT11 uh, temperature and humidity sensor to monitor my rooms. Uh, or my local humidity and temperature and that humidity and temperature will transmit will connect with things with uh, platform and it will plot a uh, graph of things uh, of temperature with respect to time as well as humidity with respect to time so first let us see how to make a channel in a things pick and then uh, we are going to uh, tell you how to program node mcu and connect dht11 with it and how you can connect with internet and uh, how you can plot the graph so throughout this video we will learn it is also connected the thing speak is also connected with matlab so you can analyze the data and visualize the data online also so if you uh, open the thingspeak.com on your browser you can see this is the website where you can go and you can see here you can collect the data using thingspeak means sense the sensor data cloud analyze the data and visualize your data using matlab also you can trigger a action or act on output to the board so thingspeak features you can see all the features that thingspeak includes in its website also with platforms it can be used like Arduino Raspberry by matlab Twitter. also they can uh, using things big so also you will find some featured projects where you can see different people's using things big channel to make something a new thing make, make some new things so let's uh, come uh, use how we can use it where we use things big so first of all uh, just open an account here okay when you open an account after that you can create a channel so you can see this is already I am signing in in this website so you can go to my channels and you will see the channels that I am making it also I am making some channels so first when you make the account over here you have to first create a new channel so in new channel what you have to do you just have to uh, you just have to give a name over here so just uh, in new channel just create a name okay in the name part, part you can name anything like uh, room temperature okay then in description part you just have to describe uh, anything like temperature and humidity this is the description part where we are going to describe your projects then field 1 field 2 where i am going to plot two things one is temperature temperature and other one is uh, humidity so you just have to type over here humidity i am already typed so it is going there temperature and humidity so tax if you want to tag anything like temperature uh, then Arduino anything you can tag so you can tag so that most of people can search this search your channel and watch it then PHT11 anything just tag your um, important parts then you can make the channel public or private so you can to make the channel public just uh, click on it so uh, it, it will be visible to all other people over here then uh, you can show your location so that uh, by giving your longitude and attitude of your location uh, then if you want some video then you can also show that I don't want to use extra features I just want to save the channel okay after saving the channel you will see the channel is created with the uh, on channel have some room channel id and you, the name of you that uh, account you created the other name is showing over here and it is public that I have designed okay and tags and your name of your channel is showing over here then uh, currently the, uh, the two graphs you can see over here but it don't plot any output so this is the part we are after uh, creating a channel you will see on a things with part now let's see how to program node mcu and plot the graph so the important fact over here you have to uh, copy the channel id also you have to use the api keys so you go to api keys you can find the api keys over here so you, do, you have to use these two parts for your programming okay now let's uh, 
go to uh, node LC. I'm going to attach the code uh, in the description below so you can download the code also. Also, I'm uh, just going to describe where the changes you have to make so that you can change according to your uh, current Wi Fi network available and your channel API key and channel ID. So, just open the code in dot ino file and this will be opened with your Arduino IDE. So, first, then let's wait for some time, so it will be open over here. Within the time, you can also connect your uh, Arduino Node MCU module and DST11 sensor with that. Uh, I, I will show you how you can connect uh, DST11 with Node MCU. And after connecting that part, you just use a data cable or micro USB cable to connect these two things. So, the code is open over here. I am going to connect uh, my hardware part to the laptop currently. So, let's connect the hardware part. Okay, I am connecting my hardware part uh, already. So let's check. Wait. Okay. So you can see over this point. Decrease the size so that you can see after connecting your hardware module, just go to your board and you have to select your uh, node MCU model. Here I am using node MCU 1.0 ESP12 model, just select that uh, board. Then after selecting it will be visible in this part. So if you can't see your node MCU model, then you have to just add your uh, yeah, node MCU boards in your board manager. In board manager, you can add different boards. Then uh, CPU frequency port, and you have to click connect the ports. All other parts will be constant or fixed. You don't have to change anything. Just change the port over here. So if you want, I will add another video where you can know how you can add a Node MCU module to Arduino uh, IDE. After selecting all these ports and board, you can uh, just uh, write this code. Okay, let's see the code first. Then we are going to write the code. So here is the code, here we are using 4 header files, if you are getting some error then try to add the header, uh, header file libraries in your Arduino. You can just go to your include library part and go to sketch then include library and manage libraries over here you can search the li required library like ThingSpeak uh, library or Wi-Fi client library or ESP826 Wi-Fi and DST library over here. If you don't have any library installed on this IDE, just click on that and install that. Like if I want to uh, add ThingSpeak, just type things, ThingSpeak and you will find a ThingSpeak library over here and you just have to install that. I already installed so this uh, this option is not available for me but you do, if you don't install it just install that library after installing all the libraries okay here the pin output pin of dst11 is connected to d5 of your node mcu so connect the data out pin of your dst11 to the d5 pin of Arduino uh, node mcu so that the that, uh, temperature and humidity will be uh, transferred to your node mcu and the node mcu will read the data from uh, environment and will transmit that online so after that you just have to make two changes over here you just use your SSID means your, uh, the name of your Wi-Fi of your room uh, or your local uh, Wi-Fi that is available for you and you have to put the password over here uh, in this come in this box so you just have to put your Wi-Fi name and Wi-Fi password so that when I execute this uh, program to node MCU it will automatically connect it to this available user ID uh, Wi-Fi uh, SSID and password so after connecting the internet it will transmit the data to ThingSpeak channel and after that you have to put your channel number that I am, I am I just show you in the platform uh, how, how to find the channel number here is the channel ID and here is the API key just copy this, these two parts and put them in your uh, this uh, box but copy your channel id channel id and paste over here and then uh, you have to check change your api key just go to api keys copy that api key and paste over this part, part. 
okay after pasting your channel id channel number and apk and your writing your wifi ssd password the code is ready for execution and here you can see uh, also you can see the uh, value of temperature and humidity on your uh, serial monitor here is a serial monitor you can see the temperature and humidity after connecting with internet i'm still i'm not connected so it is not showing over here so wait for some time and uh, still i uh, it will be trying to connect with internet then uh, then here is the code you can see the code over here where uh, here is the function things pick right field we are using to channel number my channel number and api key with the graph uh, one and two i am transmitting my value k is for temperature and l is for humidity is transmitted online and that value is shown on your uh, things pick uh, website so let's check let's uh, activate my uh, wi-fi hotspot in a mobile so that uh, my device is trying to connect and within that time i just want to execute my program and burn that program into my node mcu module So you can see the program is uploading and is uh, continuing uh, uploading to node MCU. You can see LED will be blink on node MCU. Blue LED uh, is blinking on the node MCU module till the program is uploaded. So now you can see the uh, uploading is completed and uh, you can see uh, now let's check is it connecting with internet or not. So you can see over here connecting to my Wi-Fi name Abhijit and let's check it is connecting to internet or not so here you can see it is wi-fi is connected to my uh, wi-fi id and also it will show the ip address of your module and showing the current temperature and humidity of my room it is 35 degrees Celsius currently and humidity is 56 percent so uh, the temperature is high because i am currently uh, switch off my ac always the, as well as the fan and let's check uh, the plot on this graph so you can see the humidity is showing over here humidity and date or time or you can see over here at this time 944 i am plotting a graph of 56 and wait some time we'll also plot a graph or you know, plot a value of temperature over here okay you are getting a temperature of 35 degrees celsius and uh, 56 percent so we can wait for some time and we'll see a lot of graphs over here in the meantime you can see the next temperature and humidity so you can change your room temperature by switching the value of ac and you can plot different values of temperature and humidity of your room online so wait some time and you can also change the value over here Okay, you can see the humidity is currently decreasing to 55%. So from 56 to 55% is the humidity is decreases. Temperature is on your y-axis and time is on x-axis. Just put that over here. And you can see over, the, over here you can see temperature is showing and time is showing over here. So in this way you can plot the values and you can see the graph over here. So you can wait for some time and you will see a lot of varieties of graph will come and in this way you can plot the um, you can plot your temp local variables online using uh, node mcu and things big so i uh, next i am going to see you show you the hardware part and uh, how you can how you are going to connect So here is the parts. The one is your Node MCU module. You can see over here. This is your Node MCU module. Uh, this is Node MCU. You can see the back side of it. Uh, this is Amica Node MCU module, and this is a DST11 uh, sensors. That is the temperature and humidity. It senses the current uh, temperature and humidity, and it will transmit the data to your Node MCU. And 
<coughs> and then uh, we need a data cable we need a data cable or mobile charger if you have you just need to need it to be connected to node mcu and pc so that we can program the node mcu and the program will be sent to node mcu and the node mcu after programming it can be acted as a standalone by giving it a power supply so how to connect uh, first of all you, uh, you should know uh, that node mcu have lots of pins over here like an arduino it is programmed using arduino id i already show you how to program and the code is available in the description box below so that you can download the code and edit as per your requirement and you can program it and in the node mcu there is a four pins i just use a glue to connect it permanently so you can if you see there is a four pin if you uh, make it from face upward then the first pin is your VCC and the second pin is your data pin and the data pin is connected with your D5 pin of your uh, node MCU as per the program we have written and then after the third space is not connected or not used basically and the fourth pin is ground so I am connecting the fourth pin means this is the pin for ground and this black pin black wire is for ground and this um, blue wire is for VCC and then this, this middle wire is for uh, data and I'm connecting all these pins first see where is the I connected VCC uh, so you can see these two pins the first one is connected to VCC of your uh, DST11 and ground of your DST11 is connected with B in and ground of your node MCU B in is supplying 5 volt as output so you can connect this 5 volt to your DST11 and ground is connected to the DST11 ground and the D, D, um, data pin of your DST11 is connected with your D5 pin of your um, of your node MCU. After connecting as for the uh, program programming and the requirement of voltage to the DST11 and node MCU, just plug your uh, just connect the data cable uh, to your PC and node MCU. So let's connect that two parts. Now let's connect it over here so you can see uh, this, this is a reset pin if you press this switch the blue LED will blink so that it will connect it uh, after it gets the power is connected and it will connect it with internet automatically as per the programming and the, the temperature and humidity sensed by this DST11 will be plot on the things uh, website so I hope you understand this uh, circuit I hope uh, hope you like this video and keep subscribe subscribe to this channel so that we can make lots of more educative videos for everybody so please share this video like or comment your opinion on this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you thank you very much for your time thank you